What do you think of when you hear the word Dubai? Skyscrapers, shopping malls, luxury cars, artificial islands, gold, diamonds, celebrities? You're not alone. Millions of people around the world are fascinated by the city and its elite, the Maktoum dynasty. A city that is synonymous with wealth, glamour, and innovation. This is Dubai, the crown jewel of the United Arab Emirates. But how did this city rise from a humble fishing village to a global metropolis in less than a century? And who are the people behind this remarkable transformation? This is the story of Dubai's elite. How the Maktoum dynasty engineered a glittering kingdom from a humble pearl trade. Dubai's history dates back to ancient times, when it was a small settlement on the banks of a creek that flows into the Persian Gulf. The creek was a natural harbor that facilitated trade and fishing, and the surrounding desert provided protection from invaders. For centuries, Dubai was a peaceful and prosperous place, ruled by various tribes and clans. But the most influential and enduring of them all was the Al Maktoum dynasty, which traces its origins to the Bani Yas tribe of the Arabian Peninsula. The Al Maktoum dynasty came to power in 1833, when Sheikh Maktoum bin Bouti and his followers migrated from Abu Dhabi and settled in Dubai. Since then, the Al Maktoum dynasty has ruled Dubai uninterrupted, passing the leadership from father to son. The main source of income for Dubai and the rest of the Gulf region was the pearl trade. Pearls were highly valued in Europe and Asia, and the Gulf waters were rich with oysters that produced them. Pearl diving was a dangerous and difficult occupation, but also a lucrative one. Dubai became a major pearl exporting hub, attracting merchants and traders from around the world. The Al Maktoum dynasty encouraged free trade and commerce and welcomed foreigners and minorities to their city. Dubai was a cosmopolitan and tolerant place where different cultures and religions coexisted peacefully. But the prosperity of Dubai and the Maktoums was not to last. In the early 20th century, a series of events shook the foundations of their pearl empire. First, the First World War disrupted the global trade and demand for pearls. Then, the Great Depression of the 1930s plunged the world into an economic crisis, further reducing the value and market for pearls. And finally, the discovery and introduction of cultured pearls in Japan in the 1920s and 1930s created a cheaper and more abundant alternative to natural pearls, rendering them obsolete and worthless. The pearl industry collapsed, and with it, the fortunes of Dubai and the Maktoums. The city fell into a state of decline and poverty, as many people left or died of starvation and disease. The Maktoums faced a challenge like never before as they struggled to maintain their authority and dignity in the face of adversity. But they did not give up. They did not lose hope. They did not stop dreaming. They knew that they had to find a new way to revive their city and their dynasty. They knew that they had to adapt to the changing times and circumstances. They knew that they had to look for a new pearl in the desert. Their prayers were answered in the 1966 when oil was discovered in the region. Oil was the new pearl, the new source of wealth and power, the new opportunity for development and progress. The Maktoums seized the chance and invested heavily in the exploration and exploitation of oil in their territory. They also embarked on a series of ambitious projects to modernize and diversify their economy, such as building roads, airports, ports, schools, hospitals, and hotels. They also embarked on a series of ambitious and visionary projects, such as the Dubai World Trade Center, the Jebel Ali Port, and the Dubai Dry Docks, that established Dubai as a regional and international hub for trade, finance, and tourism. But they also realized that they could not achieve their goals alone. They needed to cooperate and collaborate with their neighbors, who were also facing similar challenges and opportunities. They needed to unite and form a federation, a country, that would represent their common interests and aspirations. They needed to create the United Arab Emirates. The Maktoums played a crucial role in the formation of the UAE in 1971, along with the ruling families of Abu Dhabi, Sharjah, Ajman, Umal Quain, 
Ras al Khaimah, and Fujaira. They agreed to share their sovereignty and resources and to work together for the benefit of their people. They also agreed to appoint Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan, the ruler of Abu Dhabi, as the president of the UAE, and Sheikh Rashid bin Said al Maktoum, the ruler of Dubai, as the vice president and prime minister of the UAE. The UAE was born, and with it, a new era of peace, stability, and prosperity for Dubai and the Maktoums. Since then, Dubai and the Maktoums have continued to pursue their vision of making their city a global hub of trade, tourism, and innovation. They have continued to launch and execute visionary and groundbreaking projects, such as the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, the Palm Jumeirah, the world's largest artificial island, the Dubai Mall, the world's largest shopping mall, and the Expo 2020, the world's largest exhibition. They have also continued to uphold and promote their values of tolerance, diversity, and generosity, welcoming and hosting people from all over the world, regardless of their nationality, religion, or culture. They have also continued to support and empower their people, especially the youth, women, and the disabled, providing them with education, health, and social services, as well as opportunities for entrepreneurship, creativity, and leadership. They have also continued to honor and preserve their heritage and traditions, celebrating their culture, history, and identity, as well as their connection to the land, the sea, and the desert. They are Dubai's elite, the Maktoum dynasty, the architects and engineers of a glittering kingdom from a humble pearl trade. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to Luxury Freaks for more videos like this. I would love to hear your opinions and suggestions for the next video. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Luxury Freaks.